Hi everybody, my name is Matt, and today we're playing Aperture Desk Job. It's a short, a relatively short game about you working a desk job at Aperture Science. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Welcome to the Aperture oh, oh, Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. I'm Cave Johnson, and if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. Yeah. No, don't be bashful. It's true. No false modesty. Let's get started. Look at all those tubes stretching off in the distance. Every one of them's taking something important to a genius who's going to use it to change the world forever. A genius just like you. Just like me. How are you going to change the world? Well, that's up to you. History will remember what you do here today. Do not let us, and by us I mean all of us, all of there. humanity, down. So congratulations. Chicken. You are about to take part in the Cook. greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on earth. This is important work, and you are just the Mantis. genius to do it. What? God gave you these gifts. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. Thank you. Well, here's your lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. <laughs> Moon landing excited. Newton, Einstein. Oh, wait a minute. That's, now you. that's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in. Hold on. Grady? Good luck. Joshua World Grady? Best science. Okay, here we go. You, in the overalls. Get to work or you're fired. Oh. Dad, they don't give out overalls anymore. Anyway, my name's Grady. You can call me that. I mean, let's do introductions later. You should really already be... <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. Oh. Anyway, uh, you are a uh, ba, 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 product inspector. That is your inspection desk there in front of you. You will be inspecting, uh, okay, uh, doesn't say. Anyway, something is going to come down the conveyor belt, whatever it is. Make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's the whole job. Simple anyway, enough. Just remember, the important thing is to have fun. And that's what we're going to do. Before you come in. Otherwise, oh. it's just, I don't, it's, it's real bad here. <sighs> it's fine. You'll probably be fine. Good luck. Thank you. Uh. Ooh. This is cool. Let's see why they make you play on a controller now. I got a little grasshopper friend, too. Ooh, testing a, a toilet. Okay. Water in the toilet. Oh, that's a bit. You can sit on it. It works. It's a bidet. And you can flush it. Seems good to me. It. Squirt. Flush. Next one. Put the water in. Sit your butt on there. Make it squirt a little bit. And make sure it can flush. Dead gummit. I knew it. I, I left the volume down. Hold yeah, on. Zip zap zap. That is how you inspect the toilet. Oh. Hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Look, it's not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If that light goes on, you're fired. Oh. Okay, good. You heard the important part. Wait, wait. Hold on. Have they all been what? smoking? Why is that toilet smoking? You know what? It's not our job to test if the toilet's on fire, right? Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's somebody else's problem. Okie dokie, if you say so. You think your job's water. bad? I mean, your job is bad. Okay, sit on the toilet. It's just, I mean, it's the worst job at the company. Way worse than mine. Okay. Do you hear that? Oh. Hold on, I'll, let me take a look. It won't squirt. Make a squirt. Yeah, keep testing it. I just, oh. Can you get me out of here, please? Thank you. Send them. Send them out. Uh -oh. Nope, I'm just wet now. Nope, that's a pass. Sit on him. No, 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 no. That's just pushing me deeper. It's working. Yeah. Keep pressing oh, the button. Squirt. Oh. 
Wait, I haven't missed him. No! <laughs> bullets in the toilet now. Just test it! Get it out of here! I am trying! I'm pressing all the buttons. So, first off, I I think we're in a lot of trouble here. Now, I also think we're gonna be rich. Because I think you just admitted something. An exploding okay. toilet? Here's what we are gonna do. I'm gonna go work on this in secret. Just you go back and pretend to go back to work, right? Like it's gotta look good. I mean just pretend the most you've ever I got you. you know what? Just go I'm back to that. work, actually. Yeah, that works. I'll be back. Whatever you say, bro. Put the water in. Sit on it. What's going on? Oh my god. They're sentient. Oh. We kept their job. Very good. Uh, what? That's a lot of toilets. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, first off, you did awesome pretending to calibrate all those toilets. The best. For six months. All right, are you ready for this? Presenting. It's a regular toilet. Press, you gotta press the button. Presenting. Press the yep yeah, button. Presenting. I don't wanna. Presenting. Press the button. Press the button. No. Press the button. Press the button. You're not pressing the button. Okay, I'll press the button. Presenting the Aperture Science Turret. Oh my Go God. On. Thank you for a spin. Is this how you? You test the turret? The controls are right there on your desk. This is like the prototype? Oh, yeah. shoot. And I haven't even showed you the best part. Here's the best part. Shoot it! Oh. You know what, though? I mean, you're definitely going to kill yourself with it pointing at you like that. So let me just turn it around. All right. Shoot again. Don't worry. It's safe. I mean, this time. This time it's safe. Last time it wasn't. You almost died. Yeah, sure. <laughs> wow! Holy moly, man! That is great! Oh, man, the turret broke. That was the only one, too. Oh, what a but shame. Don't even worry about it, because here's what I've actually been working on. Ta da! Introducing the Mark II. This is what I spent most of the six months on. It was one month for the first turret, and then like five for this bad boy. Oh man, you gotta take my picture with this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. What? <laughs> oh no. Okay, good. <laughs> Moment recorded for all the history books. Now for the fun part. You are gonna take it for a spin. Here, let me turn it around. I got to take it for, oh. Okay, normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. What are all of these okay, controls? All those controls do something. Uh. Oh, also, aim? some of the crates you're shooting at might explode. Don't worry about that. Wait, what do the bumpers do? Wow, right? Oh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay, a part of the Keep going. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. This part, keep in. Okay, right, rockets. Uh, what are they? Oh. I see that. Okay, quite a bit is falling off. I am pressing all of the this buttons. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. How do I reload these? These have nothing in them. I mean, it's a glue. I'm 99% oh, convinced of that. Oh. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah, spend the extra dollar. I think it's and yep, here we are. Oh, nope, I'm shooting at myself. Did I do that? Wow. All right. That, so some of the stuff I put on there just didn't work. Most of it, like uh -huh. 90%, or even higher maybe. But some of it worked great. So all we have to do is keep the great stuff, and then we, then we can. So, okay. 
That's the police. Huh? So one of us needs to streamline this turret, right? And one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse. No. Because there, this is a lot of damage, and they're going to look into this. Which job, send me to jail. Which job do you want? How about I fix a turret, and then you take... Yeah, I'll do that for you. Remember, Get back if you want to ask, you don't know me, okay? Don't say anything. It was Joshua Grady from Worcester, Massachusetts. What? They built a whole city. Good for them. Oh. <laughs> I have a desk in jail. And there's the toilet. Right. Hey, well, I mean, wow. You are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. Uh-huh. I mean, it was way more time months. than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that mm -hmm. the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, offender has been granted supervised early release. Let's go. Sign for your possessions. Inmates' possessions are as follows. Desk, one. Got that. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. After the okay. tone, state your name into the desk. Matt Moreau. Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent record as Matt Moreau. It's cool. <laughs> Moving on. Now, type your name. Wow, this game is going real in, yo. As a condition of supervised early release, parolee and desk agree to report within 15 days. Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. I'm your parole officer. I mean, mm. not just I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now, but they're basically reintegrated back into society. Uh huh. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but. No, not Tony. Anyway, that's all I was doing. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late to met. You are both free to go. Uh, how do I oh, uh, get out bring of your here? Desk. How am I supposed to bring my desk? Did my desk move? Okay, I streamlined the turret while you were gone. Introducing the Mark III. Ta-da! Oh, we're getting closer so I got to the, the, parts that fell off the actual just kept the turret. That worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now. It shoots. Mm -hmm. It didn't need a satellite dish. That was just dumb. That was the I dumb part? these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department in, in a locked room. Right. Ready? Oh my god, I can aim now. It's just like the Mark I. Did you do it yourself? It's like a is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. The more I love it, the more I'm thinking we should both have it. Because then we'd be tattoo bros. I'm gonna get a tattoo. You know we are friends. Think you give me some tattoo? Would that be weird? No, that's not weird at all. We're both bros. What about like a robot arm coming out of the side of my head and it's holding a wrench? So you got the dragon and the knife, and mine's similar but more robot. -y. I like that. I like that. Man, that'd be so cool. I know, um, right? Speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you: gyroscopic controls. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk. Tilt it around to aim and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And what? you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. 
Wait, my desk has a turret? Or you mean... Oh, this is what I've been doing. How much did the tattoo hurt? It doesn't hurt that much. Yeah. You probably had to heat up a pin with the lighter or something? That sounds... I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. What do you mean? Another tattoo idea I just had instead of a robot hand coming out holding a wrench. What if it was like a skeleton hand? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he a human on the inside? Or is he like a skeleton trapped in him? You know what? Skeleton arm tattoo. Skeleton arm say, tattoo. That's the one I want. So when you get a free minute, I'll find a pen and we'll heat up that light. That's gonna right. hurt you. Everything checks out. This thing is perfect. I think we're good to go here. Bueno. So, I was saving the best for last. While you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's going to make us rich forever. forever. Are you ready? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Do we get to see the mantises again? What the fuck? They're living in 2042. Where are we at? Oh, we're going back up. Up, up. There's no more chicken over there, though. What are you going to do with your share of the money? Hmm. I know what I'm going to do is pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret. Oh, yeah? Like, immediately pay it off. Or I'll, I mean, whew, I'll be in some real trouble. Oh, Plus goodness. the big, I'll have to the pay big. that too. <sighs> Does it make sense to you that the big is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it. It's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. Washing machine? Huh. That's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. Oh, geez, it's got a gun. Why does it have a gun? Get down, get down! Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spares. Oh hell <laughs> I did not think this would be the kind I of game. It. It's the housewares department. How did they find out about it? Oh my god, everything that's hurt. Where the fuck are you coming from? Oh, less talky talky, more helping me out. Oh my goodness. Keep coming for like basically forever. Forever? Please stop. Housewares, man. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's you're got telling such me, bro. Of, what did we ever even do to them? Nothing. We're both in our Is that a deer head? on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. Oh. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So, if you hit all four buttons at once, it should rocket us up to all 80 levels real fast and then up through the floor of Cave's office. All right, if you say so. Automatic death launch sequence are engaged. We are 
is not gonna like this okay really nice work good shooting i yep. think we're good from here they probably gave up i have given up by now <sighs> okay let's go show this thing to cave yeah also i do have one quick confession i didn't actually get an appointment with cave johnson i lied about that oh no but it turns out i didn't know this it turns out nobody's seen him in years i did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. <sighs> so I think he might door? be a millionaire recluse now, so be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. What kind of jars? Hello, Mr. Johnson? There's a big head. Let's just go in. Mr. Johnson, are you here? Be hey there. That big eagle. It's me, Cave Johnson. Hi. No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm going to level with you. A few mm -hmm. years back, I got real sick. Yep. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Keep talking. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A giant head? <laughs> Off by a mile. No. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first what? plan was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body, and hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So they kept making it bigger, big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? Still under the head, somewhere all crushed up, couldn't support the weight. So the lab boys put me in the big head, switched me on, and uh, I don't know, I panicked, killed a few of them, said I'd kill more if they ever came back. Honestly, I, I regret that now. Anyway, that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Hey, hey, hey! I can't talk over the sound of you shooting me. Do you want me to tell you why I'm a giant head or not? Right. Yeah, I guess. Where was I? Giant head, riddled yep. with disease, mm -hmm. eggheads, egghead, immortality. Yep. Started with the small head, it got bigger. Now ah, you got big head. Now I remember. Anyway, that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Now oh, don't worry about me. It's been a full life, but we're done here. I'm oh. itching for the next step. Can I? Heck, I'm excited about it. Can I kill? Don't can even I shoot think that of thing it now? as killing me. You're breaking me out of prison. I'm just data now. I need you to crack this big clay head open so I can spill out into the universe. All right, if you say so. Fine, fine, fine. I'm crapping the head. I'm the head. You're fired. You're not gonna help me get out of my office. Wait, what is that thing? It's yeah, something that, the two I, of us invented, sir. We came up here to wait, show you. Oh, I think toilet? it might be the answer to your problem. Huh. Fine, you're provisionally unfired. Let's see it. Oh, thank show you. Show him, partner. Well. Whoa. That'll work. Yeah. I got it. I thought you were two lunatics who dragged a toilet up here. But you are geniuses. Thank you, thank you. They called us geniuses. I know. Can I shoot this thing now? We need to find his weak spot. Son, this thing's made of clay. It's all weak spot. Well, I mean, there's this fucking thing right here. Keep going. Keep going, sir. Keep shooting. What's the weak spot? Oh. Oh, no. What? You Just a metal head, no? So shoot the metal. Alright, if you say so, sir.
Not the toilet. Hey, you see that? I think that's his power source. That's what I've been trying to well, do this whole time. Go. Powering down. The great beyond. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. All right. Suffering ended in three, two. Ah. Uh. Oh. Backup power activated. Oh my God. Uh, you're both fired. What? I'm gonna need your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin, or I won't be able to see him. I'm gonna put it towards the chin for you. Uh oh. Yeah, that's what your big ass head gets. Bye bye. One more. You know what? It just occurred to me that the only person. Who knows Cave Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah. Crazy. Do you know what the punishment for murder is? They told us in parole officer school, you're not gonna like this. Uh, it's life. Your whole life in prison. Come on, Joshua, you can't we do should. this. Yeah, we, we, we should leave. Don't touch anything. And bring the desk. I'll, I'll bring the desk. Not the mantises! No! Once. Morning, Charlie. It's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Uh -huh. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey, it's just me, Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, this witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. I like yours a lot. Oh my god, he got the tattoo. You know, come to think of it, you think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. Feels like everything is exactly the same, except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Charlie. See ya. There's another toilet that passed. Oh, it's big head. Yes. What are you doing? Oh! Toilets are singing, yo. a pretty good game and the amount of effort that they like put into this is like better than most games like triple a like title games so it's nice to see something from portal again beautiful justin well that was aperture desk job if you want to see me play more games like this, let me down, let me know down below. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.